Hello and welcome to the sixth part of our walkthrough of uh, uh, Sema Sacrifice. We are currently hunting for sword pieces in order to be able to beat a god apparently or to beat Hela more precisely. So let's get to it and see what the game has in store for us. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. Apparently Senwa is now um, trapped as a character of uh, another's story. She internalizes sad stories to a certain degree. And let's see what other pieces of information we can gather. Senwa, you remind me of a story of the North about a young woman warrior. Her name is Hera, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She is a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrion. Yep, so... As I said before, these stories are being internalized, apparently by Senwa. She identifies with th this struggle to obtain the sword, no matter what. She is willing to accept any consequences to her sanity and physical uh, health, so to speak, in order to be able to continue her journey and fulfill her mission. game throws some new mechanics at us, apparently, since we are no longer able to do combat anymore. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials, like when we first met, remember? Even though this is not her story, per se, She kind of makes it her own. I'll find him. And Dillian is the element that helps her personalize this endeavor. <gasps>
Dillian's calling to you. Can you hear him? Where is he? He's out. Eric disguises himself as a man to join the battle of warriors as soon as it comes to the end. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lies alone. There are many grave mines, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mine of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I pass through are real enough. Down the north of the hell. So we have these shields that kind of show us the way, I guess. Yep. Indeed, it is very easy to understand how she would resonate with such a story. Listen, 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 listen. It's getting hot. Yes. Keep going. You're nearly there. There are many paths, but only one belongs to us. Find another way, it's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? Think, think, focus. It's not him. We told you. We told you it's the truth. So apparently in order to progress, we need to make sure um, that a new type of shield is located next to every uh, torch that we light. Visual reality is kind of disintegrating again. What's in there? Is it a secret room? How do you get in there? So. Let's see if there's another way into that room.
We are on the other side of uh, this grate. This kind of sounds like Paul Robbins' song at this point. However, it ignores her father's warnings. The grave mind recovers, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Hever demands her inheritance, but her father warns her of the sword's curse and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her a sword. She leaves the island with it. The curse holds true, and death will follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of the father have cursed his daughter. Maybe we have something to learn from this story as well. We already know a bit about her father, but definitely not enough. <laughs> to have an informed opinion yet. What is his connection with Dillian and her shadow, things like this? I guess we're gonna have to see that. You don't recognize it. Don't tell yourself you'll never find it. As these half memories, half stories are explored by Senor. Way apparently. What's different? The game kind of plays with you right now. There are no more shields to follow and everything kind of looks the same. So we need to make sure that we're not walking in circles anymore. type of shield I think <gasps> look towards the light and you'll find the path right let's see Okay, new shield. No, this is definitely not Dillian. <laughs> You know 
what they say if you find or if you see the color red it means some big psychological trauma or turmoil is going on that or big baddies uh, are coming for you That's the end of that. And you didn't get a shard per se, a shard of the sword. Probably because the shards are as in inexistent as the sword, actually. This is just a way for Senwa to face her past, in my opinion. And you can see that she has not only been betrayed um, by the world that she doesn't know, so to speak, so the world of the Norse and the Vikings, but she has also been betrayed by the world that she embraced voluntarily. which is the world of the Celts. She has been ostracized because of her so-called darkness from the very beginning of her life. Person younger than 40 and many older. 
and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. It's like following the will of the wisp. It's just a trap. It's a test. Like your warrior traps. The name will help me. Will he, though? this river. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something, something was wrong. wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. It's soon enough. As the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. When they knew that she was not like them. Interesting. So look at this. This is another portal that dispels illusions, apparently. marked with X, sign of the plague. So this dispels that illusion with the spikes. And then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. That is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. Yep.
Um, What's different here? The Northmen speak of death and death. No. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside the house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died. No, I don't get the it. Guest died. And then the farm animals, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. That is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. So theoretically, you're supposed to go up this tower. So, these portals had to be activated in sequence. Aligned to the truth. One created the ladder, and one created um, this stairway, this staircase that leads to the ladder. And now we have to fix the bridge. If only fixing a bridge would be, uh, or if only fixing a bridge were uh, this easy, we wouldn't need carpenters and stonemasons anymore. To be honest, some of Senua's mind powers are more spectacular. Um, than the standard telekinesis we see in games like or in stories like Stranger Things for example if we invoke a famous TV series Senua, Senua's powers are way more original at the very least She not only moves objects with her mind, she recreates reality as it once were, as it once was, or... or as something that she wants to be. the house. Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in this? There was an orphan called Gretty. Big, red haired, immensely strong. But he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night that an undead creature kicked. Sorry for, for failing to address that particular story. Go to him. Go to him. He's trying to save you. 
So you need to run from the flame, I guess. This is a very hard puzzle because you need to learn the paths of this labyrinth by heart. So let's go down and around. No! There has to be a better way to get here. Oh, this will certainly take a while. This is probably one of the hardest puzzles, if you can call call it like that, uh, in this game. the third symbol and now let's try this way oh, fuck. this way what the hell this is unbelievably hard you have to you have you, you will need to have patience because I predict at least three or four more deaths before I'll be able to get past this one. Where is it? 
There's a lot of adrenaline in this experience though. You are not supposed to go back, but you can't go forward either. I don't know. I really don't know. Jesus Christ, you can't... You need such pinpoint accuracy with everything in this puzzle, so... If you take one or two seconds too long, it's game over, basically. It's completely game over. And those paranoid voices make everything feel... So much more annoying. Come on, come on. So this is where I'm having problem. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. Presumably to the first part of the adventure. So I think Okay, okay. This is the door. Go to the door. The irony is, this is exactly what Senwa is doing as well. She is creating stories because she cannot accept that Dillian is dead. What if this is pointless? But apparently, some of the voices in her mind have their own doubts about this whole ordeal. On the other hand, I think it's just that, game that everyone of us was considered to be weird by uh, his or her peers um, know what it's like to be ostracized or marginalized when 
all you want is basically to belong to be a part of a certain community and this is always hit and miss because most of the times the communities that we happen to be born in are not necessarily the best communities for us most of the times you'd probably fit better in a distinct community but we have no input over that and birth is basically a throw of the dice and you need to roll with the punches unfortunately no matter what okay guys so this is uh, enough for now we gained two shards of uh, the famed Excalibur or whatever the name of the sword is and I think there are two or three more we are gonna try to get them uh, the next time but for now I wish you all the best see you later